Now, my job as a content creator is to continuously give you guys value because you guys are paying me with attention. So attention photo booth business owner in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I'm saving, if not thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars actually every single month by setting these automations in place for my photo booth rental business. Not only does this help me a great deal, but it also helps the prospect, the browser on my website get information much faster. So I made it as booking friendly as possible. I'm gonna show you the aesthetics. I'm gonna show you the automations on my website. If any of this inspires you guys, go ahead and execute this immediately. You see any information on my website, copy and paste, whatever you gotta do to get your photo booth business off the ground, all right? So let's go ahead and jump into my website. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm doing differently. Some of these things are gonna be super dope. This is my website. So when people come onto my website, now on the left-hand side, there's a drop-down box so that I wouldn't have hundreds of pages right here. Now, all these pages serve a purpose from the audio guest book to the shop to the blog. But when people go to Photo Booth Styles, the drop-down box, and say, for example, they go to Digital Photo Booth, then it takes them to the actual Digital Photo Booth page. Now you guys want a have you guys want to have a page for every single service because it allows you to put in a lot of information that's going to help you with SEO. And this is just a quick glimpse into what you guys are seeing. Now right here it says visit our photo booth template library to pick your ideal template. So when a customer is looking around and they're fixated on the photo booth, not the 360, they can just click right in here where it says visit the library. And it's, in, it's gonna give them like a huge library of different templates they can pick from. Now, let's say for example, um, they wanna go with something like, I can even go to load more and it just keeps going and going. Like this one right here is really popular right now, like the magazine style. Once they click on that magazine style, they'll put their name on here, their phone number, and they can even upload any logo, whether it's a corporate logo or whatever it is. And then what would you like the wording to be? And then when they hit confirm, that'll get sent to us. So then we can use this as foundation and just tweak things here and there, which make life way easier now. And we don't have to start from scratch with templates. So that that's really a helpful thing. And then if you guys are just running the 360 booth, if you come right over here again and select the 360 booth, then you guys will see that I have an intro video right here. And the reason I did intro videos like this, guys, is because it's going to save us a lot of time from clients asking us, well, what is it? What does it include? So give them a visual just like this. And I know some of you guys have been doing this already. He started doing that. So congratulations. It gives a guide right here for our services. And so even this right here is attached to my blog, but I'm not going to click on that. I'm going to click right here where it says select your overlay. So when folks go to select your overlay, now it's going to show them. 360 video overlays they can pick from all right so that's one thing guys is your tabs make your tabs nice and easy another thing that i was struggling with that i didn't like as far as the aesthetics go and the overall functionality is when people will go to pricing and booking it will be this long long list of all the services and the sessions meaning the hourly rate whether it's two three four hours so now what i did is when folks come over to 360 booth right here it shows a two hour the three hour and the four hour. That's it. Now, if it's a corporate client and they keep scrolling, it says need to make special arrangements and it gives them the option here to call me so that they can make those special arrangements. Same thing with digital booth and the premium DSLR booth as well. Um, same thing, just three boxes, right? Two, three, four hours. We are good to go. Audio guest book, same deal. So that's one of the things I wanted to show you guys as far as the website goes. I can't think of anything right now on the website besides some of these styles right here that I have for you guys, okay? Cool. Now, let's go into the automations. Now, right here, the automations on my Wix, I have automations for everything. Now, I'll give you an example here real quick. Let's go ahead and select, let's select the four-hour premium photo booth production. I'll click on that. And the way that works now is when I go into that automation and I show you guys exactly how it looks on our end is this is going to get triggered when there's a booking, when a session is booked and it's going to be a specific service. It's going to be a four hours. So when they select the four hour service, what happens next is an email goes out. Okay. So the email that's going to go out is going to go out to the client and even ask if there's a delay. I don't want there to be a delay. I want there to go directly to the client as soon as they pay. 
So the email that they get, guys, is going to look a little something like this. So I'm going to go to edit. And it's a very simple, very, very concise email that goes over the service. And it'll say urgent photo booth agreement, please review. And then it says, please review and sign within 48 hours. So then they'll get this email. It'll go over the cost uh, and the amount of hours they booked for. And then all I have to do is go to please sign. When they go to please sign, now all they have to do is just sign on their actual uh, screen on their phone and then submit it. And now I have their signed contract. Remember those days, guys, when you were sit down and revise contract after contract after contract? You don't have to do that anymore when you start getting automations in place like this. Now, on top of that, when they sign up, we can also set another automation and send instructions before session. So we want to know when this is going to get triggered. So if I go uh, over to more actions here and I go to edit, another thing you guys can do is when does this get triggered? When another uh, booking gets booked. And then for this one, <clears throat> select which service trigger is this automation. So I put any. So anytime a session is booked, whether it's a DSLR, 360, digital photo booth, whatever it is, they're going to get a notification. And I delayed it for one day. The next day, they'll get a notification. And then the email that they'll get will go something like this. It'll say your big day is approaching fast, and then it's going to address them by their name. It says, we are thrilled to welcome you to Canary Capital Productions family, so on and so forth. And then it says, exciting news, you can now select a preferred photo overlay or template directly on our website. So then I have hyperlinks right here. So if they booked a 360 booth session, then they'll click on here. And if it's a photo booth session, then they'll click on here. So this allows me to not text message them not manually have to come up with an email or call them. Simply they'll get this in their email box and then they can go into our website, right? With those hyperlinks and start selecting whatever overlay they're gonna want. So this right here, guys, is saving me hundreds and hundreds of dollars every single month because our time is money. So if you guys wanna come over to my website, check it out. Uh, maybe there'll be some areas in here that inspire you. You guys even do this, man. If you guys like anything on my website, go ahead and copy and paste it. But um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys automations and also how we can get these uh, going right away. So uh, I'll type in gala and then it'll, it'll give me all of the galas right here. And what's beautiful is my designer will then have a foundation with the client's request and they'll make minor tweaks here and there. We got to keep moving. We got to keep pushing, guys. So subscribe for more information like this. And then I'm going to keep on delivering as much as I can. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button for me. Peace.